right, I'm going to show you how to make a new backup profile. We're going to click new down here. Let's call the backup profile backup. We'll go down to next, click next. If you want to click backup, it's already selected, then we'll hit done. The main profile setup window will now open. This will let you make changes. If you want to do this, so click OK. And then we want to go up here to source and click this folder icon. And the folder I folder we want as our source is the C drive, users, double click your username, and then hit select folder. And then destination we want to select our external drive. So click the folder, we go to this PC, and we'll scroll down until we see our external drive. Click it, then select folder. And then here we can click next to the G and type in backups. And that'll create a new folder for all our backups. We probably don't want all of the files in our users, user folder. So we'll click here to choose subdirectories. And I don't need GIMP, these. We'll talk about app data in a second. I don't use contacts. I want my desktop documents, downloads. I don't need my drop old Dropbox. I don't use favorites. Google Drive, I don't use, I don't use links. There's no music. I'll keep pictures. There are no games on this computer, no searches. I don't need my videos. The rest of these I'm not sure what they are, so I can uncheck those. And then these are the folders that I will back up. If you are using Outlook, we need to do one more thing. We'll go up here to App Data, click this little plus. Next to Local, we'll click this one. Scroll down until we see Microsoft. Click this. And then scroll down a little more until we see Outlook. And we'll check Outlook. Outlook is where our PST files is. So all of your messages and everything that you have stored in Outlook is right here. So this is what we want to back up. So again, that's under App Data, Local, Microsoft, Outlook. Check this box. I can close this. I've selected everything I want to back up, and I'll hit OK. And then I also want to come up here to Win, because I want to schedule a daily backup. This is the safest way to handle backups. And then I'll come over here to Edit Schedule. There's no schedule, I can create one, yes. This is asking if I want to use a blank password. We don't want to use that, so we'll click no. And we'll be prompted to enter in our password. This is so when our computer's asleep, uh, the backup can still run. So after we enter in our password, we'll hit OK. And then I usually schedule mine for the middle of the night, so I do 2 AM and every day. I want it to run whether it's logged in or not, so we'll keep this checked. I've selected 2 a.m. and then I'll hit OK. And then hit OK again. And one last time we'll hit OK to finish everything out. And this is asking do we want to run a simulated profile. This just makes sure everything's working and it's doing everything we want it to do, so we'll click yes. Here it shows an overview of everything it's about to do. I have 10,000 files I'll back up. It's going to be about 14 gigs. And then I'll click Continue Simulation. And what we want to see up here is the simulation successful. This means that at 2 a.m. when this starts to back up, I must have my external hard drive in that I've linked it to. But if the hard drive is plugged in at 2 a.m. and it starts, my files will be backed up. And I'll have security in knowing that there will be a second copy of my file somewhere. This is very important because if a virus hits your computer or your computer hard drive dies, you have your files in another hard drive. It will save you a lot of expense and time than just having the one hard drive with no backup. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.